And item 10D, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract with Hydroscience Engineers, Inc. for the design of the Spyglass Pump Station and Force Main Replacement Project in an amount not to exceed $331,673. The Spyglass Pump Station is one of six sanitary sewer pump stations that's operated by the city that conveys the wastewater to the water quality control plant in uh, South San Francisco. Uh, the pump station is you know, lo located at the end of uh, Spyglass Drive in the northwestern corner of the city and serves approximately 78 homes in the vicinity. Uh, as part of the consent decree, the city is required to rehabilitate and uh, replace the, the pump station uh, by 2018. Uh, the existing pump station has uh, several issues that requires the, uh, the replacement. Uh, the wet well is uh, corroded. Uh, the pump station building is also located in the, um, on a steep slope, approximately 10 to 15 feet uh, lower than the street level. Access to the pump station is only available by going down the steep uh, stairway uh, and the stairway is also in, uh, in, in poor conditions as well. Um, since the layout of the pump station makes it really difficult for the maintenance staff to, uh, to go down and perform the, uh, you know, the maintenance of these, uh, the pump station, and the existing pumps are also outdated and, um, and in need of replacement because they require constant maintenance and repair. The existing force main pipeline is also located in the steep uh, and, and heavily wooded area that makes it impossible for the city staff to access uh, the force main for repair. Well, so the city, city issued an RFP for the design services in October and received three proposals for the, for the design. Staff eva evaluated the proposals and is recommending Hydroscience to provide professional engineering design for this project. Um, Hydroscience has the experience as they've previously designed the Olympic uh, pump station and force main replacement project. The cost for the consultant services is $331,673. The scope of work includes the preparations of uh, bid documents, um, providing construction support, preparing technical memorandum, do, performing alternative uh, evaluations, and surveying as well as geotechnical investigation. The design will take approximately 10 months uh, to complete with an estimated construction of uh, 12 months. And this project is an established um, CIP project and has an appropriation of a million dollars and 91,000 from the wastewater capital fund, which will be carried over to the 2014-15 CIP. Um, no additional funding is being proposed in the 14-15 CIP. Uh, however, the staff will come back uh, to um, within the 2015-16 CIP for additional funding for construction of these uh, of the facilities. Um, Therefore, staff is recommending uh, to adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract with Hydroscience for the design of the Spyglass pump station and force main replacement project for amount not to exceed $331,673. Any questions of staff? We're asking for another resolution. Irene? Uh, uh, I'm just wondering how many alternatives are the they're going to look at are they going to um, consider totally changing the flow direction, um, changing where the pipe, the, I'm sorry, where the pump station is? What does all this entail? How much direction are we giving them? A couple of the alternatives that we're evaluating is, you know, there is currently a spyglass at the uh, Sharp Park pump station that's located you know, just above the Sharp Park Road. Uh, one of the alternatives is to pump from this spyglass pump station to the Sharp Park pump station as well. That's one alternative. And the other one is to look at, um, you know, we do have some inflow and infiltration issues in the Spark, Sharp Park basin. Uh, one alternative is to segregate the entire basin into two different basins to, uh, to convey a portion of these, the flows from the Sharp Park basin into the spyglass pump station as well. Hydroscience will look at all of these options. Correct. Okay. Irene, anything else? No, that's fine. Thank you. All right. I, if, I, if I could just follow up on that, what is what is the status of the Sharp Park pump station? 
But is that in design or is that uh, is that being planned? Is, mm, no. Is um, it is is it a CIP project in the near future? Or is uh, it's in the it's the long term plan. Uh, we have done some improvement to the shop uh, pump, pump right, station. Right, right, right. Uh, currently, we're looking at the laterals in that area. Uh, but as far as the pump stations, we're not looking at it within the next few years. It's actually in the long-term plan. I, I think that what's, what concerns me is that this is a fairly new development, I mean, as far as history is concerned. Uh, and it's only serving 78 homes, and it's in terrible shape. And it was like a bad design from the very beginning. And maybe we can, you know, improve it with, you know, as far as the scale to, you know, to and, and I like I like Irene's co uh, comment as far as consideration with the uh, you know with the other Sharp Park station because that's been there you know twice as long or three times as long uh, and it's it's still doing fine and we're not even uh, it's not even on the radar yet as far as being replaced so uh, I I think we should be a little more prudent on 2.7 million dollars and not necessarily you know, be anxious to just spend it on, you know, on a small neighborhood. I mean, I recognize that you've got a deadline and I recognize that, you know, they, they do need, you know, it does need repair, but uh, a replacement. So hopefully the consultant will come up with uh, something. That's a very valid yeah. question. That's okay. Uh, uh, the problem that we have in this area is the terrain is, is very, very peculiar. Uh, you have uh, the spyglass drive that's way below Sharp Park Road. So it's, I mean, we, we cannot really bring it up and uh, without some kind of a pump system and get over the elevation. Even if you want to give it to Pacifica, you still have to connect down uh, Sharp Park. Um, it's just as easy for us to bring it up to connect it to our system. If you recall, for the Olympic pump station, we looked at that alternative to give it to uh, Westboro, and uh, that didn't quite work out. But we will look at all the alternatives. You're right, this is a quite a bit of money that we're going to spend here for 78 homes. Uh, it is required. We have to get it done quickly. Uh, but in the meantime, we will look at the alternatives and try to get the best for our money. Thank you. Anything else? I'll introduce a resolution. <clears throat> Council Member Ibera. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Vice Mayor Medina. Aye. Mayor Wayne. Aye.